Hi everyone, I am Asis and in this video I am going to launch my brand new home automation PCB. By using this PCB, not 2, not 4, you can control total 8 appliances, even in multiple ways. Like you can control the smartphone app, Amazon Alexa, Alexa control, switch to on karo. Okay. Manual switch control. Along with this, you can also monitor the temperature and humidity of your room and also you can automate your appliances uh, like you can make temperature based on off system. Uh, during the video, I will let you know how can you make and how can you configure the firmware and connections. And along with this, I will also tell you its feature and specification in detail. Uh, so let's get into this video. Before we move on, let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my PCB design process so much more efficient, LTM365. LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment. Whether you are working alone or with a team, LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page. Key benefits of LTM365 is Data Management Store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control, ensuring everyone works with the latest file. Library Management Access millions of ready-to-use parts with up-to-date supply chain data, making informed design decision easier. Supply Chain Management Integrated BOM management with real-time data on parts availability. And pricing helps streamline your production cycles. Collaboration Enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers, reducing errors and speeding up the design process. And the best part is, if you click my link provided in the description of this video, you will not only get access to the free trial version, but you can also get flat 25% off on all the license purchase. So do check out the link provided in the description and now let's move ahead with our video. Uh, using this PCB, we can control a total of 8 appliances. The size of this PCB is very small. It measures 142 by 70 mm, so it can easily fit in your electrical switchboard. Uh, I have used GST connectors for the switch input, DST sensor and IR sensor. To ensure safety, there is an onboard fuse for overload and short circuit protection. And apart from this, we have used an optocoupler which electrically isolates the AC and DC sections. To program the ESP32 chip, there is an onboard programming circuit and we can easily connect the PCB to a computer through a Type-C cable. That means you get a Type-C connector on board. Uh, I have also added a buzzer which can be used as needed and some important pins are also exposed such as UART pins, ground pins, 3.3 volt pins and 5 volt pin. We have used heavy duty terminal connectors which prevents sparks and melting due to heat. And the best thing is every pin configuration is labeled on the PCB. As you can see on the back side of the PCB, the relay pins, switch input pins, buzzer, DST, IR and LED pins are printed on the back side of the PCB. Uh, this home automation PCB is based on the ESP32 chipset, so you can use all the popular IoT platforms like Bling, ESP Rainmaker, KME Smart IoT Cloud, Cardio and Arduino IoT Cloud. Uh, in this video, I will show you how can we use KME Smart IoT Cloud with this board. This is the schematic of the PCB and after completing the schematic, I convert it into a PCB and after checking every traces and components, I finalize the PCB and for manufacturing, I gave its order to JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price and ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Let me show you. Uh, just you need to upload the grammar file of your PCB, select the quantity and select the color masking and after that click on save to cart to complete your order. And here if you select the fastest shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and PCB looks pretty professional. And this green color PCB looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provides PCB assembly services, 3D printing services and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services. So if you have any PCB project, do try out JLC PCB for your next project. All the important links are available in the description. Uh, open this kmesmart.com website, uh, you will get this link in the description. Uh, after that, click on this installation option and scroll down. Uh, you need to download the KME config tool to upload the firmware in the ESP32 board. Uh, after that, click on this Windows button to upload the KME config file. After downloading, open this file. 
and extract it. Now open this extracted folder. Uh, now open this uh, config application. Now click on this three dash icon. Click here to connect with the USB 32 uh, that is select the right communication port in which your USB 32 board is connected. And here give company name, uh, your company name, give anything you want. After that click on this connect button. Then click on this upload firmware button to upload the firmware. And this uh, KME config tool will automatically detect the connected chip that is you, you have using uh, either ESP32 board or ESP8266. It will automatically detect and upload the firmware accordingly. So wait few minutes till this code is uploading. Uh, here our firmware is successfully uploaded and it says ready for config. So let's configure. Uh, to add the devices click here on this plus icon button. Here lots of devices are available you can use according to your need. Uh, in my project we need uh, 8 relays so select 8 relays 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and one DST sensor and one IR. So click on this remote IR and RF button. So here we added 8 switches that is relays and one DST sensor and one remote. So let's configure this one by one. First click on this and change this name. I am giving it switch 1. And click here to configure the pins. Uh, I am using active high because my home automation PCB is based on active high. And pin output. Uh, for the pin output, you will check on the back side of the PCB. All the pin mappings are available there. So for relay 1, it is connected on the pin number 23. So select pin number 23. And input type is active high. So if you are using any other hardware, then uh, set this active high active low as per your hardware. In my hardware, it is active high. And input switch is connected on uh, in pin number 34. And input type is switch. I am using switch, so input type is switch. So first one is configured successfully. In the same way, configure the second one. I am giving the name uh, switch to. It is active high and output is uh, pin number 22. Input type is active high. And input switch button is connected at pin number 35. And it is switch type. Uh, in the same way, configure all the remaining switches. That is from switch 3 to switch 8. And also this DST and IR. Uh, here I have configured all the devices as per the pin mapping which is printed on the back side of the PCB. So here DST and IR is still left. So click here and select the pin output for the DST uh, which is connected on pin number 13. So it is OK. And DST type is DST22. So you can select whatever the DST you, you are using. I am using DST22. So I am selecting DST22. If you are using DST11 then select DST11. And after that this IR remote uh, which is IR type if you are using RF then select RF and the pin is uh, 12 which is connected on pin number 12. Uh, after doing all the configuration let's upload this configuration. To upload the configuration click here on this uh, fire button to upload. So click on this. Yeah it is uploaded successfully. So we have configured all the devices successfully. Now it's time to uh, configure the smartphone app. So uh, let's move on the smartphone app. Uh, this is KME smartphone app uh, which is available for both iOS as well as for Android. So download and open this app. If you are using first time this app, you will require a sign up to, uh, you need to register on this app. I have al already signed up so no need to do that again. And after that click on this plus icon button. Then click on this add device. And here give your SSID and password of your router or hotspot and make sure you are using 2.4 GHz network because ESP32 only support 2.4 GHz network not 5 GHz. So use 2.4 GHz network. After that click on this connect button. Uh, here it is asking uh, via smart connect mode or via access point mode. So I am going to uh, via smart connect mode. For this uh, click this boot button on the home automation PCB for 3 seconds. As you can see it is start blinking every after one second that means it is in the uh, smart connect mode. So click on this uh, via smart connect mode. Uh, it will start pairing. Uh, click on this single device. 
uh, it will start pairing it will uh, search and connect this device yeah here as you can see uh, it is find the device and says add device uh, you can give any name you want i am giving it uh, automation 8 node uh, this is the name of your device you can give any name you want i am giving automation 8 node then click on save button to save this all thing here as you can see uh, we have successfully pair our uh, smartphone app with the smart uh, home automation pcb now we can easily control this P uh, now we can easily control our release through this smartphone app so it is showing offline so refresh it and it will goes online because our home automation pcb is now connected with the uh, network so it will take few uh, minutes to get online so wait for that here as you can see it is online now and we can control our devices from this button as well and also if we open this uh, this button are available there uh, we can easily control from this app as well so everything is done let's see how this system is work and i will also show you a demonstration of by controlling through alexa app smartphone app and through a manual switch button connect all your input switches and appliances as per this circuit diagram and while making the connection please be careful because in this circuitry there is a ac connections so be careful while making the connection uh, here i have completed all the circuit uh, this is our DST sensor, this is our lights and this is a manual switch button. And in the PCB as you can see the LED is glowing that means this board is not connected with the Wi-Fi. And also you can see in the app this is showing offline. Here as you can see the LED is off that means this is on now online and we can control our devices from this app as well. As you can see, I am easily able to control this release from this app. And also you can see temperature entry value is also available on the app. So we can monitor and make our automation system according to temperature as well. And also we can control this release from this malware switch button as well. So let me show you this thing in detail. Uh, as you can see, here we can monitor the temperature and humidity value in the KMA smartphone app and the temperature value is 35 degrees celsius and the humidity value is 65 percent and if we want to control our appliances that is our release we can control from this app and from this alexa smart speaker and even we can also control from this manual switch button so let me show you uh, one by one by controlling uh, first i'm going to control with this smartphone app as you can see we can easily control our appliances through this smartphone app and also we can control from this manual switch button and in the app we will get the real time feedback that is our release is on or off so all the buttons are in on condition here i am turning off by manual switch button and as you can see it is also become off that is real time feedback in the app All buttons gone off and also we can control this release through this Amazon Alexa app uh, let me show you how we can control uh, Alexa turn on switch one okay and in the app you can see real time feedback is also available. Alexa, turn on switch 2. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch 3. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch 4. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch 5. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch 6. Okay. So as you can see our system is working super fine. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Uh, for more such informative videos subscribe this channel and share with your friends. I will meet in the next video. And one more thing, if you want to purchase this home automation PCB, this home automation PCB is available for sale on my website. You can purchase from there. Link is available in the description. Uh, we will meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.